Hello YouTube and welcome to another video tutorial. So today I'm going to show you how to reverse engineering an application and to bypass a password protection. So are you ready? Let's get started. So in order to show you this example here, I will be using an application called CrackMe, which is just a simple application. So here you enter the credentials and you get a message so if you have actually entered any credentials so I'll put just something uh, at random so if you hit ok you can see that no nope, but keep trying which means that our credentials are not valid so I will try to bypass this uh, serial validation so all I have as input is just this message here so I have to keep it in my mind nope but keep trying okay so now I'm going to disassemble this exec file here which is actually my program so I will, I will be using a disassembler program called Win32 disassembler which is very famous you can find it on the net so this program will allows me to disassemble my exec file to assembly language. So I will go to disassemble menu, then open the file to disassemble, which is crack me. So as you can see now, I have a bunch of assembly language instructions, which correspond to my program. So as I told you before, all the input I have is the text message. Nope, keep trying. So I will look for it. So I will go to search, find text. And here I can type the message to look for it. I can just type a portion of it, which is nope, for example. Okay, so I have it here. Possible string data. Nope, but keep trying this is that message that we get when we have entered invalid credentials so just the line above it you will see here reference by a conditional or conditional jump address so this is the rest also is very important so we have to go and look for it and normally it will be just up so I will go some steps up and here is you can find it okay this is our address here so in this address you can see here uh, assembly language instruction jump if equal okay so it's good to write down this line here this address particularly and also this instruction so I have already done that in my notepad so this is the address and this is the instruction as you can see jump if equal is equivalent to instruction jump if zero so here when we have entered our invalid credentials it has jumped if it, if it, if it, it is equal to an address so if we if we try to reverse the process and find the opposite of this instruction here we can get our result so the opposite of jump if equal is jump if not equal so I'll just type it here just to see jump if it's equal so the opposite of it are these instruction here which are in also correct jump if not equal or also jump if not zero they are all the same so in order to get my program working and the bypass the protection we have to change this instruction here from jump if it's equal to jump if not equal so now I have finished with this, this sample program here so I can quit so how we can do that so actually we'll be using a disassembler editor or a hexadecimal editor 
hexadecimal editor will allow me to go to this address and change the instruction. Okay, so I will be using this uh, program here called HIEW, which is also very famous and really easy to use. So here there is a list of the files that I have in my desktop because my hexadecimal editor are also in my desktop and at the bottom there are some numbers if you want to use them you have just to type F then the number that you want so I will sort it using F7 key and now I will go to my program which is crackme.exec so I will hit enter as you can see I have rubbish here so I have to change the mode so here at the bottom you can find the number 4 so I will tap F4 and select mode decode okay so now we have our addresses and instruction just in front of it so I have to look for this particular memory address so in order to find it you have to hit F5 as you can see here at the bottom so I'll tap F5 and I will enter this address but uh, in order to enter it we have to make a dot first and get rid of this double zero here so I'll just type 14 11 84 and I will hit enter so now as you can see this is the line we, where the instruction is as I told you before jump if zero is equivalent to jump if equal so I have to change it to jump if not zero okay so here you can see the hexadecimal value of jump if zero is 74 so if you look in the internet you can find the instruction or the hexadecimal value of the instruction jump if not zero is actually 75 so I'll just type here hex value so you can uh, hex value it's 74 and for the opposite of it it's 75 so in order to change it it's really easy here you have to type as you can see here at the bottom F3 so I'll just type F3 and now I can change it to 75 okay and in, or in order to update this value I have to type here F9 so now the instruction is set as you can see here now it became jump if not zero or jump if not equal they are all the same now I have finished all I have to do is to quit my program here so in order to quit it it's F10 and now let's uh, execute this program with the same credentials that we have entered before which were invalid so it was user1 and 1 to 3 and I hit OK so now you can see that my credentials are actually valid it's great work it's not uh, not try again anymore because we have actually reversed the process so that was just a brief introduction to reverse engineering application using uh, disassembler and also a hexadecimal editor in Windows. As always, I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing. Bye bye!